know what to do No make sense linger and a boil fish stew Business a spoil and a ton callilu Come now people don't you read the news Man I read stars and a game Well just trying to give information to people um, Every 11th of every month 9-11 truth activists in London come together and we produce DVDs and leaflets and we just go onto the street and we try and be creative, we provide music, get people's attention and we try and engage with people on the street. It's growing here in London. So, uh, we'll see. Capital of the New World Order, London, England. Well, once you get into it, you're like, wow, that's it, you know, it's like a train, you can't stop it. It just rolls one thing to the next and you're just reading these different things and it puts everything in your past that you've read and things and it all kind of starts clicking into place and what you've known in the past and then you start looking at the new information and suddenly your whole outlook on the world completely changes and then you never you can never go back. So just be angry, just and it's be a damn good just thing. Well, you're first getting elected. They needed a, a signature from yeah. the Senate. No yeah. one wanted exactly. to give them a signature. That's exactly what I was meaning. Yeah. So yeah. That's, that's not a democracy, yeah. man. That's, that's, that's tyranny. Right. That's what it comes down to, you know. So, yeah. Alright, well I'll check it out, man. Yeah, man. Good sure. chat. And then get online, yeah. man. Check this guy's out. Yeah, and come and help us out, Alright, good luck. It's quite a good turnout. And there's lots of new people. Um, everyone who's passing, everyone seems to be really engaging well, uh, people are interested in what we're saying. Thanks. If, you, yeah, if we play and read, C911 is our inside job. There's no terrorists. Thank you. Yeah. Well, it's the power elite, the shadow government, you know, these, the, big, the big echelons of power. They wanted the event in 9-11, 7-7-2. It was like George Orwell's 1984. Create terror, create fear. They needed it to galvanize the people to invade Afghanistan, Iraq and everything else. And what a coup it was, I mean, my God. We all fucking bought the lie, most of us. I certainly did at the time. It's founded by a guy called Richard Gage, who's an architect, and on this DVD, there's a presentation by him. It's a two-hour presentation about the physical evidence regarding how the buildings came down. Do you have a website? Do I have a website? Yeah, it's on the bottom of there, londontruthaction.blogspot.com, and we are changed.org.uk. And I think I saw a bit of Alex Jones predicting 9-11, and I got into Alex Jones, and I was like, wow. And saw some films. But I was always skeptical, even before that, like I knew about the power of the elite, and I just I didn't like politics because I thought it was a load of rubbish. So um, I was always like, had, I had most of the pieces of the puzzle and then like the final pieces came in. Any of your friends speak English? Any of your friends speak English? Maybe. Give them one of this. Free. Give to your friend. They explain it to you, yeah? You're welcome. Ciao. There's a good um, article. It's the Ministry of Defence report 2007. You can get that off the internet and they're predicting, it's like the projection of the next 30 years and they're predicting riots. Lots of trends forecasted in America predicting revolution there in 2012. I mean, you saw what's happening in Greece, it's unrest, you know. People lose their money, they've worked, lose their savings, their pensions, they're going to be angry enough. The prices are high, you know, fuel's high, energy's high. They're pushing people, pushing people. And, you know, there's going to be right, but they're preparing for that. I mean, security, you want a job, go work in security because that's where the money is.